Beam down smoke. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about 5 major tips that you need to be the best trader that you can be in CSGO. Before we get to the video content though, I'd like to go ahead and give you a message from our sponsor. So as you can see, this video is in fact sponsored by Swap.gg. If you want to go ahead and check out Swap.gg, make sure to use my link in the description below and that'll support the channel quite a lot. I also want to go ahead and mention that Swap.gg does allow PayPal deposits, which is a very rare thing in the CSGO third-party economy right now, so a very good option for you if you do use PayPal deposits. Anyway guys, let's get on to this video's topic. So my number five tip for traders out there is to make sure that you know your prices. So this may seem pretty self-explanatory and it may seem pretty simple, but it's actually a little bit more complicated than you might think. Because when it comes to trading, it's a wide variety of items that you're going to be dealing with if you want to make the most amount of profit. Obviously, you can kind of adjust yourself into a specific niche if you want to, and that's always a good way to make profit if you know what you're doing in that specific niche. But for the best traders out there that want to make the most amount of money, they're going to have very diverse inventories that have a lot of different items inside of them. For example, different float-based items, different blue gem based items, and different ad-based items in general that have different levels of varying demand. And knowing the actual prices for these on all different types of sites and making sure you're keeping updated with prices is a very important thing. For example, consider if someone came to you with a really nice knife in a certain category that you had no knowledge about. What if that knife was worth a ton of money and was a huge upgrade from the items that you were trading for it? Well, the problem is, if you don't know the prices for that item, you're not going to be able to actually take them up on that offer, and you'll miss out on money. Now, to make sure that you're updated on prices, there's obviously a few different sites that you can use to make sure that you always have the most accurate prices. The first one, obviously, is Buff.163, a very important and very popular Chinese website right now that has the lowest cash prices around, which means that it's also the most accurate pricing for all cash items. Obviously, all you have to do is go to the site, find the item that you're talking about, and do its yuan to whatever currency that you use as a conversion and you'll be able to find out what the item's worth. Another great site to use is going to be CSGO Stash or Steam Analyst. These are going to have very quickly updating prices from the markets. Some of them are going to be a little bit inaccurate because of the times that they update them, but you can go ahead and check them with a direct link from those sites anyway. And if you ever have some currency conversion issues, especially if you're using Arcanas, a really good site right now is fatmetal.trade, owned by the one and only Fatmetal, and that's going to be a great place to go for currency conversions. So making sure that you are aware of all the prices that CSGO items go for to make sure you're getting the most amount of profit and also being able to have access to these sites as tools to make sure that you know the prices of the items that you're buying. With that said, let's go ahead and move on to the number four tip. The number four tip is going to be knowing your community and knowing your demand. These are both very important factors and the main thing that this is going to build up to is knowing what items are going to be the best to trade at any given time. Demand is sort of an ever-changing thing so basically the only way that you can really keep updated on this is making sure you're part of a lot of big trading communities and you interact a lot on different trading websites to make sure that you know what the demand is for specific items and you can know if those items are actually going to be easy to sell or not. Demand is an ever-changing thing so it's hard to make a very specific tip on that concept but basically making sure that you're part of these communities and interacting with them on a regular basis is going to be a good way to keep updated on the community perception and demand of certain items. Moving on to tip number three we're going to have liquid trading. So liquid trading is one of the most simple straightforward and very calm ways to do things in CSGO since liquids are a very high demand item at all times and it's a good way to make sure that you're getting equal items of equal value. So the main thing with demand trading is making sure you know the prices of the liquids that you're trading with. You can do this a few different ways. Usually we are using Arcanas and TF2 keys right now, which are the most popular liquids at the time. Obviously that can change with time but these are going to be the best things to use for liquids at the moment. If you want to go ahead and check out the prices for these, you can check out CS.deals and also the Steam Community Market to figure out what they're worth on each. Liquid trading can allow you to access a lot of things. It can allow you to access those play skin items that you've been wanting for a very long time since pretty much liquids are accepted universally and that's why it's a really good idea to make sure you're invested into them and figuring out how they work. It's also very easy to make profit on these liquid items because the best thing you can do is find some desperate person that wants liquid items to complete a trade and what you can do is 
is go to them and say, hey, I have a bunch of these liquid items. If you go ahead and trade me this amount of value for them, then I'll go ahead and give them to you. That's a good way to make a little bit of extra dollar profit on it. Obviously, that's going to be a very fast trade and a very easy thing to do as well. Finding someone interested in your liquid items is an absolute breeze, and that's why liquid items are going to be the best way to get into trading if you're new. So to conclude tip number three, just make sure you're very familiarized with how liquids work and make sure you're keeping up to date on their prices. Moving on to tip number two, that's going to be making sure that you know your goal. So making sure that you know your goal is one of the most important things you can possibly do in all of trading for a multitude of reasons. One of the main ones is making sure that you know your goal because you're going to be able to easily track your profits as you go along. For example, let's say your goal is a $10 skin and you start with $5. If you go ahead and trade that $5 up to $7.50, you know because of your goal that you're getting a lot closer than you were initially. Goals also help you keep focused. A lot of the time with the seven day trade hold, trading can get kind of boring because a lot of things aren't happening, especially if you have a lower valued inventory. So making sure that you know your goal is important for that because it also keeps you motivated on the end goal. I know there's a lot of people out there that simply have a goal of making money and while that's great and all, a good idea is to make sure you figure out how much money you want to make because it's going to give you a very good thing to chase and it's also going to make trading a lot more fun. Good goals are goals that are sort of unrealistic but also feasible at the same time. Something that you could achieve but is also kind of out there so it keeps you running. Goals can also be good as a sort of limiter because obviously you're going to want to cash out at some point. If you keep going, there can be a lot of different rocky things that you can run into that can make you lose money. Making sure that you have a good goal set is going to be a good way to make sure that you're both achieving profit every single day and also working towards that goal and also a good way to make sure that you don't go too far and get too wrapped up in it. I know goal setting is sort of a cliche thing and I know that's something that a lot of those heister traders are probably going to scoff at a little bit but trust me goal setting is a very useful tactic and it's also a good way to make sure that you don't go under a specific inventory value if you want to continue trading once you hit your goal. For example one of my goals is making sure that I have a Kramit fade. This is going to allow me to achieve the Kramit fade and not go any lower so I'm not going to be messing around. Finally moving on to the number one spot for this list and probably the most requested thing to talk about of all time and that's going to be where to find trades. Basically what I'm going to do for this section of the video is give you guys some of the main ways that people find trades and then also give you guys some alternatives and maybe not talk about them so much in depth just because they are kind of extra that you might want to go and look into. So probably the number one most popular place that people go for trades is going to be r slash global offensive trade on reddit of course. So this is going to be a great place to go if you want to go ahead and access the largest trading community currently out there. It has over 100,000 members and it's a great place to find trades. Another pretty popular place to go look for trades right now is actually Twitter. What you can do on Twitter is actually tag a few of the people that you know are interested in the type of items that you're trading and they can check out your post and give you a couple retweets if you want that or they can just go ahead and maybe buy the item off of you. Now, normally I would recommend the Steam discussion boards but that's actually kind of having a pretty major meltdown right now so I wouldn't recommend checking that out right now. Another really good place though is going to be trading servers. There's actually a few that are moving around, cropping up, and also dying at the same time. So I would kind of recommend to go and look into that a little bit more on your own terms and figure out what type of trading server is best for you. Right now I do know that TGP is undergoing with some pretty shady stuff and there are people that are interested in making a new trading server that is basically a better version of TGP. So maybe go ahead and research that on your own time and figure out what you wanna use for that. Trading servers are a good thing because it allows you to interact in real time with the people that you wanna trade with. So they're always a good option. So aside from those major ones here's a few alternative places that you can go to find trades and i would recommend pretty much all of these and with that guys that's going to be the end of this video thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come spend it with me and the video that's in front of you right now be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to get the latest and greatest investing tips anywhere else on youtube right in front of you before anybody else also be sure to of course check out my swap.gg link it does help me out quite a bit and go show swap.gg some love and of course check out both my twitter reddit and my discord server that are all in the description below and that's going to get you a really easy access access to both me and a lot of my community. Anyway, thank you guys once again for all the support, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.